In this video, we will learn how to access native platform features such as sensors and flutter using platform channels. Specifically, we will be looking at the method channel and the event channel in Android by building this app which gets the battery info and pressure readings from the pressure sensor that is the barometer in the phone. Learning both of these will help take your app to the next level by accessing native platform features and work with platform specific third party libraries. Create a new Flutter project and open the Android subdirectory in Android Studio. I'm gonna be using Java so I'm deleting the mainactivity.kt file and be replacing it with mainactivity.java file. In the first part of this video we're gonna be looking at method channel and in the second part we're gonna be looking at the event channel. First we're gonna be looking at method channels. In your mainActivity.java file, create a class called mainActivity which extends the Flutter activity. Then create a method called configureFlutterEngine and then we are going to define a name for our method channel. I'm going to name it com.example.platinum slash common. Next, let's define the method channel by writing new method channel and the first argument will be FlutterEngine.getDartExecutor.getBinaryMessenger the second argument is going to be the name of our method channel which we have defined above and we are going to set a method called handler which will take two arguments called call and result. The call argument will contain the name of the method that is being called from Flutter. It will also contain all the arguments that we pass optionally. Result is used to send back data from Java to Flutter. Our call.method is the name of the function that we are calling from Dart. It's gonna be a string, so if we are gonna check if it's equal to get battery level. If the call.method does not match with any of the if conditions, we are gonna just return result.not implemented, which, which tells Flutter that function that we have been trying to call does not exist or has not been implemented. Inside our if statement, we are gonna get our battery level from a get battery level method, which we are gonna define right now. So I'm gonna define it as a separate method in the class. Initially, the battery level is gonna be minus one. Then we have this particular code in order to get the battery level. Finally, we're gonna return the battery level. And once we get the battery level in our if statement, we are gonna check whether it's minus one. If it is not minus one, we know that we have the correct battery level range and we are gonna return it using result.success battery level. And if it does not match, we are just gonna say result.error the error code is going to be unavailable and our error message, we can give anything we want. That is all for our Java side. Now let's jump to Flutter and configure how to call this method we've just defined from Flutter. On our Flutter side, initially we're going to have a stateful widget and in our stateful widget, we're going to have a battery level, which is initially going to be set to minus one. In our body, we're going to have a simple center widget in which there's a text which displays the battery level. In our floating action button, we're going to get the battery level from our native code using the function called get battery level which we are going to be defining shortly. In order to call functions from our method channel we are going to have to create a channel of type method channel which is going to be equal to a method channel and the name of the method channel should match the one you have in your java code. In our get battery level function it's going to be an asynchronous function so we need to make sure to return a type of future and have the asynchronous keyword and we're going to get the battery level by saying battery level is equal to channel dot invoke method and we're going to pass in the correct name of the method that we want to be calling which in our case is get battery level and finally we're going to set state as we can see initially the battery level is minus one when i click the floating action button we can see it changes to 100 and if i open the settings and change the battery to 52 percent and again click the floating action button it's going to change to 52 percent so there we go this is all about method channels if you've stuck with me so far make sure to like and subscribe let's move on to event channels for our event channel initially i'm going to define the name of the channel which is going to be com.example.platinum slash barometer i'm going to be defining the actual event channel and again, this is going to be flutter engine.get.executor.getbinary messenger. And the second argument is going to be the name of our channel. And then we are going to set the stream handler to be a barometer reading. This is going to be of type barometer reading. It's a class which we are going to define shortly. So let's initialize the barometer reading variable and jump to our barometer class. Create a new barometer reading class in the same directory, which implements 
event channel dot stream handler and sensor event listener. When we implement such interfaces, we're going to have to implement four different methods. And those four methods are on listen, on cancel, on sensor change, and on accuracy changed. Since we are working with sensors, we need a couple of variables in order to get started. First, we're going to need a sensor manager. Then we're going to need a sensor, which is going to get the values from our barometer. Then we're going to need to maintain the latest value of pressure. And finally, in order to send the values to our flutter through a stream, we're going to need an event sync called barometer event sync. First, we're going to have to initialize our barometer readings, initialize our sensor manager in order to set it up. First, we're going to be getting the system service for our sensor manager. And once we have our sensor manager, we're going to get the particular barometer, which is going to be a sensor that type pressure. And finally, when we set up our sensor manager, we're going to register a listener. And our listener is going to be the class which you're working in, which is barometer reading. The sensor which we are going to be accessing is barometer. And the third argument is sensor manager dot sensor delay normal. In our on listen method, we are going to set the event sync to be equal to events, which is an argument we get from on listen. In our on cancel, we are going to nullify our event sync and in our on sensor changed this is where we're going to get the latest value of our sensor from the barometer sensor event dot values of zero which is going to be our latest and if our barometer event sync is not equal to null we're going to send the latest reading to our flutter code using barometer event sync dot success latest reading and in our main activity dot java file let's add another else if statement to initialize our barometer return true since it will succeed in initializing the barometer. On the flutter side, in our Dart file, initially we had a center widget in our body. Since we want to display the readings of the barometer as well, I'm gonna wrap the text widget within a column so that I'll be able to add a stream builder as well. Similar to method channel, we want to create a variable called event channel barometer, which is of type event channel. And again, the name of the event channel should match the one that you've defined in your Java code. For me, it is com.example.platinum slash barometer. And then we're going to initialize a stream of type double called barometer stream, which is going to be initially stream.empty. This is where all our pressure values from our barometer will be returned from Java to Dart. Let's add an init state in order to initialize our barometer. Since we are going to be calling a function from our method channel, I'm going to be doing something similar to what we did for get battery level and invoke the initialize barometer method. Then in order to get the pressure stream, that is to get the stream of values from our Java code, I'm going to write a method called pressure stream, which is going to return a stream of of type double our class variable barometer stream is going to be equal to event channel barometer which is our event channel that we've defined above we're going to get the broadcast stream and for each value that we get it's going to initially be of type dynamic we want to cast all of it to a type double so we're going to map each value to double and then we're going to return the barometer stream in order to update our ui inside our column i'm going to add a stream builder the stream is going to be from pressure stream and inside the builder if there is some data that we obtain from barometer return a text widget which says pressure detected by barometer is and the value the pressure if not if there is no data i'm just going to return pressure not detected now let's run this and see how it works when we change the pressure the stream automatically gets updated and the ui rebuilds this is all there is to event channels and method channels if you found this video helpful make sure to like subscribe and comment down below what concepts you'd like to see boiled down